All right. So, so Pat, you're saying that, look, we're going to have inflation. It's going to be higher than the U.S. Federal Reserve had predicted or anybody perhaps. But, um, but you don't seem to be too concerned about it. Um, or are you? And, and the reason why I'm asking is because, you know, if, if in fact they have to raise rates faster, um, we're going to see the equity market sell off. And that, that's why the equity market's kind of, you know, started the year on a downtrend for sure, stabilized a little bit. And then, you know, we're seeing some, some downward trends once again. So, um, you know, how are you really thinking about this? Are you concerned? You know, I would be crazy to say I wasn't concerned. Uh, but the uncertainty is that, well, we know the prices aren't going to go down. Logistics might get better. So therefore, there'll be more material available. But, you know, there's a threat of stagflation, which is a real threat right now. Uh, as an investor, you know, I'm not that panicky. The reason why is there's really nothing good else to put your money into. I mean, when you talk about income inequality, which is a big thing, at least in the United States, probably in Canada too, when you think about the, what the Fed did in the last year, it was actually increasing income inequality more than any other thing. Because anybody who was invested in the stock market, and usually those are the people with some financial sophistication, and some people with knowledge of the market or 401k plans, made money. Those who were relying on just their incomes and don't have any money in the equity markets, they got killed. They really did. So, uh, in fact, when the government started throwing money at people, the United States government throwing money, pe at m money at people, some of these people went out and invested in equities. You know, the game stops of the world, the United Cinemas. So, as a result, I mean, it's, it's going to be worse for people on the bottom end of the equation rather than the top end of the equation. And there's really no good way where you can't put your money in debt. I mean, right now, you know, even if interest rates rise, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be much above the rate of inflation as it is. So the equities are still a good investment. You just have to be picky on which investments you want to get into. Uh, I tell everybody that those investments that are those companies that are able to pass along price increases are the ones that are going to be the ones that win. I mean, right. if they have annual contracts or really locked into things, I mean, they're not going to win. Those companies that can pass along higher wage, pass along higher wages and higher costs are going to outperform the market of those who can't do it. I think that's the general thing. The second thing I'm looking Yeah, well, uh, we're going we're gonna to get to some of the investment ideas in a second, but, um, but I, I think it's important, though, because... You, you, you mentioned stagflation, and you seem to say it's somewhat of a, a real concern. Um, most people I speak to don't think that we're anywhere near stagflation, but it's my biggest concern, actually. And hopefully, Again, I'm, my completely, biggest concern hopefully I'm completely wrong. So. Well, no, I don't think you're completely wrong. I mean, you know, first of all, I've lived from stagflation. You know, what happened in the Jimmy Carter era was we had stagflation. We had high prices, but we had little activity. Now, what's going to happen is, what's going to happen when this COVID situation calms down again? You know, well, I think the last time we were talking about was a U recovery or a V recovery, and, but we had an L recovery. It went shotting up, shooting up immediately as, as people started getting normality back into their life. And it was completely unexpected. Now... We don't know what's going to happen when when the Omicron virus starts really receding or, you know, will people still be hesitant to do. So I see stagflation as a real concern because people are afraid of overspending. I think they're going to be more cautious of spending. But like I say, these prices we have, the milk prices, the housing prices, the car prices, every factor in the, the cost of living index, it's not going to go down. They're not, you know, no one's going to start increasing their, the, the amount of potato chips in a bag because, you know, they, they they have less money, you know, because they, there's more supply on it. So in reality, no, I, I think these prices are locked in and it's the ability of people to pay for these prices, these, these goods and services. And if their salaries don't increase at the same rate, that's when you're going to have the stagflation. So I'm worried about more than anything else. I'm, I'm with you, Kathy. I don't understand the people who aren't worried about it. 
you know, so few people are worried about stagflation. I mean, they just really brush it off. Um, yeah, but they know, never they, lived through it. They've never lived through it. That's the thing. It's easy to brush it off when you haven't been investing in, in the market at that time. Yeah. You know, I'm unfortunately, I'm cursed with knowledge. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Thanks, Pat. We're going to leave it there. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay.